Hello Limentary, so today is an Ooptivid day. So the topic that was suggested for me today by my friend Alex, also known as Moobman, formerly Moobalot, but he doesn't make videos on that channel anymore, was my YouTube story, and I realized that I've never made a video on this topic before, so why the F not? So back in 2008, a friend at school told me about the Vlog Brothers, and she just said something like, yeah, they're these two brothers who make videos back and forth, and they kind of remind me of you, so I think you would like them. And so I watched, and I thought to myself, why are these these two guys that seem like they should be friends with me making these awesome videos. And I watched every video in the entire catalog, which at the end of 2008 was really not that many videos, at least not in comparison to what it is now. And then I thought to myself, hey, I can do this, and I know my friends like the Vlog Brothers, so we started a collab channel together, the three of us, and it, it went okay. But in early 2009, that collab channel failed, as collab channels are wont to do, and so I started my own channel. Um, you may actually remember the first video that I made was a video response to my now friend, Rowan, Robofillet, and I got my first subscriber that night, one of his subscribers, and I think this person is still around YouTube. I still remember their username, and I still see them around. I started making friends with people like the aforementioned Alex and Sam and JB Dazen, who actually, in that summer of 2009, let me use his song First Impressions as my introduction, which I have had ever since then. That song has never changed. I proceeded to freak out about my first 50 subscribers and made it a point then to celebrate every power of two above 50. So the last one that I actually celebrated now is 3,200 subscribers, and the next one to go is 6,400 subscribers. So if you want to make that happen, you can make that happen. Just kidding. You don't have to make anybody subscribe to me unless they actually want to. Anyway, at the end of that summer, I was on the 365 project, which helped me break 100 subscribers and was actually the point at which I met most of the people that are still my really good friends from YouTube. But that was about the time that I realized this is a thing that I really, really like doing and I wanted to keep going. So I bought my first HD camera and I made my own collab channel again with these friends that I had made over the summer and that one failed pretty quickly. Then in 2010, I made the Sleep Talking Man video, which was the first video of mine to reach a much wider audience than my normal video and still the most successful video that I've made to this day. I decided to thank everybody I would do the first Fizuary which was a massive success and I really enjoyed making it and I started doing the the regular fizuary things that many people did on their daily month projects after that you know video response Thursday and copycat Tuesday and just having like themes like that for the week people started doing that and many of my friends did daily projects for the entire year after that which was pretty cool then there was the first VidCon that I went to in which I finally got to meet my friends that I had made online and it really solidified our friendship it makes a big difference to meet someone in person when you want to become friends with them also pretty soon after VidCon I applied for and made partner on YouTube which was a really big step in my career and I really appreciated that YouTube would be willing to invest that amount of energy in me. I mean, obviously it doesn't mean the same thing now, but it was really special back then. Then in 2011, things kind of started to change. Um, not really for the worse. I don't, I don't really know how to say what I want to say, but many of the friends that I had made on YouTube were not making videos as frequently, and it became a much less casual thing for me to do to be making videos. So I admit that my channel has gotten a lot more kind of pointed and programmatic instead of just making a video about whatever I want to say. But I did Fizuary for the second time in 2011, and that time I invented the Fizzy Olympics, which was a huge success, and I really can't wait to do it again this year. I did get to go to VidCon 2011, and I met a lot of my friends there again, and just had a super fun time. And then I moved to Korea, and a huge chunk of time is missing from my YouTube channel because I was busy, you know, adjusting to the everything changing. But I revamped at the end of the year, I think it may have been at the beginning of this year that I revamped my channel and started making more videos, and I'm having a lot of fun now. I'm, I'm trying to get more focused, turning out more content, because I have the time to do it, and I really am interested in continuing this show that I have created for myself. I'm really excited about the series that I've started recently, like Opera in Brief and Ignorance Rehab and Ooptyavids. I'm a big fan of doing those, 
and I'd like to revamp music for Muggles, and I also have some ideas for sketch comedy that I want to do. So really, I just need to buckle down and get to work on those, and I think this could be a great year for my channel. Plus, VidCon 2012 is in one month, which is extra exciting for me this year because I still get to see all my friends, but I also get to see America for four days. <laughs> it's the only vacation that I get all year, and I'm super pumped for it, and it's gonna be a blasty blast. But I've been talking for 11 minutes, which means my camera's about to run out of memory, so I will see you guys next time. It